So it's all about you, is it? It's all about the drama. It's all about the need to put things in their precise little spaces. I can't cover every personality disorder that is diagnosable. I'm not an expert at that level. Uh, there are people who spend their entire lives working on one of them. However, it's casually thrown about how people have them so often. A real popular one these days is the narcissistic disorder. Just because you know the words doesn't mean that that's what it is. You don't know me at all. And just because somebody has some egregious behaviors doesn't mean that they have a personality disorder. Uh, unfortunately, there still is no diagnosis for being an incomprehensibly terrible asshole. That said, there are a few things about being a incomprehensibly terrible asshole that really come to light with the narcissistic disorder. I'm in here because apparently I'm a passive aggressive controlling and manipulative psychopath whose narcissistic behavior drives other people crazy. So let's cover some of the basics for that right now. Having a narcissistic personality disorder has as a requirement for diagnosis five different steps. Uh, a grandiose sense of self-importance, preoccupied with uh, fantasies of unlimited success, power, brilliance, you know, however fantastic they totally are. The belief that they are special and can only be understood by other people as special as them is very key in this. Uh, they require excessive admiration. There's a massive sense of entitlement to what they deserve. Uh, uh, they are exploitative in that they will take advantage of others around them. They lack empathy. They don't even understand what how their behaviors hurt others around them. They are often envious of others and believe that people are envious of them. And finally, they show arrogant, haughty behaviors or attitudes. As you can see, it's very easy to say somebody fills in those criteria without necessarily fitting into that. So to gain a bit of an understanding around how a narcissist might develop, you have to go back into their past. It's what we counselors do, after all. Yeah, great, Mama. More like a couple of teenagers, you know? <laughs> There's going to be a hallmark of trauma in this. Uh, like all personality disorders, there's going to be some element there that compresses a person and forces them into this sort of means of acting and behaving. The key thing here is in the recognition that a person has these issues that they are facing, and this is how it has successfully managed to manifest itself. This is how this person has gotten through all these things in their life, all their other stages. They are there because they're just that awesome. And that's why it's good to be me. Just because a person is egotistical doesn't mean that they're a narcissist. There's a number of those steps involved, and you have to be able to look at all of them. God damn it, I love myself. But what does this mean to you? The person out there who's like, but I know that guy. Well, first, tread with care. People with personality disorders are oftentimes, well, they react from their trauma and it is an ingrained sort of thing. The narcissist is going to believe that this is about them. So, you know, it is in this case. You have to question whether or not they are worth dealing with for you. Narcissists can still be lovable. They can be charming. They can be fun to hang around, but it is about them. So figure out what you are willing to put up with and what kind of boundaries you want to lay out for yourself. Or if you think you are a narcissist, start talking with some of your friends and maybe see a counselor.